Okay, so magandang umaga ulit mga engineers at welcome ulit sa Engineer JD YouTube channel. Uh, and we have now, so we are now into the 11th video of this channel. And nung 9th video natin, so nakareach na tayo ng 1,000 subscribers. So maraming maraming salamat sa mga nagsubscribe at patuloy na sumusuporta sa channel natin. At sa mga hindi pa nakakapag subscribe so please do subscribe sa channel for more learnings at patuloy tayong mag-discuss ng mga CE problems at engineering problems okay now dun sa comments of course nababasa ko yan na merong isang nag merong mga nag nag-comment na nagre-request na kung magbigay ako ng isang prob stat na topic ayan so so now for this video so magdi-discuss tayo ng isang probability na topic. Okay. Now, isa sa common na lumalabas sa board exam is yung tinatawag na binomial probability. Ayan. Binomial probability. So, it involves only two choices. no? So, it's either uh, probability success and probability failure. And, yun. So, without further ado, so let's now discuss. So, start na natin ang pag-discuss. Okay. So, here we have three problems uh, na prepare ko para sa inyo. So first, so una, so first, the quiz has 12 questions. Each question has four choices with only one being the correct answer. If I guess all the answers at random, find the probability that I will get 5 of 10 items correct. Okay. So, here, alam natin, has four choices. May four choices daw sa, pero isa lang yung tama. Per four choices. So, alam natin, no? that the probability na makukuha ko ng tama yung item na yun, makukuha ko siya ng tama, so that is P. Okay, it is denoted as P. So this is the probability of success. Okay? So ayan yung probability na makukuha ko siya ng tama. Okay? So the probability of success here is 1 item per 4 choices. Okay? Or 0.25. Next, Therefore, Q or the probability of failure, no? Probability na hindi ko siya makukuha ng tama, okay? Hindi ko siya makukuha. So that is 3 over 4 equals 0.75. So take note, dapat yung sum ng P at Q is always equal to 1, okay? P plus Q equals 1. Syempre, binomial lang ito nga. So two choices lang tayo, either success or failure, okay? Now, Ang tanong sa atin, if gines ko lahat yan at random, find the probability that I will get 5 over 10 correct. Okay? So, if I guess 5 over 10 ay tama, so ibig sabihin daw, 5 ay tama, of course, and 5 ay mali. So, 5 tama, okay? And 5 mali, okay? So, 5 tama, 5 mali. Now, 5 tama, ibig sabihin, 5 ganito. So, 5 success tayo. So, P to the 5, okay? So, limang success, okay? Then, sabi dyan, limang mali. So, pag limang lali, so, limang failures. So, limang ganito naman, okay? So, Q to the 5. Okay. Now, syempre, ito na ba yung sagot natin? Hindi pa. Tandaan natin, so, limang tama, limang mali, hindi pa natin ako consider kung anong mga items yung tinama ko and anong mga items yung namali ko, okay? For example, bawa, uh, Denoted ko, check, check, wrong, 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 check, 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 wrong, wrong. Pwede ganyan. Or check, wrong, check, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. Pwede ganyan. Okay? So, parang yung possible na choices dito. So, mapapansin nyo, pwede natin isipin na yung mga check, di ba? May limang check dyan. So, parang, parang mangyari, parang, in ha parang mangyayari parang i-arrange parang i-arrange mo lang yung limang ganito yung limang correct answer so parang i-arrange mo siya in this 10 items okay so kung i-arrange mo siya so without again without reference to order no without reference to order di ba kasi pare-parehas yan kahit pagbalik-balik tarin mo yan diyan parehas lang din so without reference to order pero i-arrange mo siya so, pag i-arrange mo siya without reference to order, so, ang tawag doon ay combination. Okay? 
So, ibig sabihin, yung ganito uh, is, in other words, pwede natin isipin na ilan yung, ilan yung possible combinations ng 5 from 10 na correct answers. Okay, 10 na items, okay? Ilan yung possible combinations ng 5 correct answers from 10 items. So, combination, so, ilang, ilang ways yan, so alam natin, 10, 10 items, C, 5. So, 5 items. Tandaan natin to. So, that's the symbol for combination. Now, this is the possible number of combinations here. So, we need to multiply this to this one. Tama? So, 10, C, 5. Kuha po. So, therefore, if we calculate natin yan, so, magiging, so magiging 10 C 5 times 0.25 raised to 5 times 0.75 raised to 5. Pasok natin sa calculate yan. So, may calculate yung dala. So, 10, 10 C 5 times 0.25 raised to 5 times 0.75 raised to 5. So, you'll get 0 0.0, 0 0.053584. Yan. So, sabihin daw, meron lang 5.84% chance yung, gusto ganyan, may 5.84 chance ako na percent na makukuha ko yung 5 items ng tama kung manghuhula lang ako lagi. Yan. So, nakuha po. Yan. So, may kita nyo, di ba? So, may combination, may P5, Q5. So, it resembles, di ba? This term parang it resembles binomial, di ba? Yung binomial theorem natin na formula. Yung pagkuha ng n term ng binomial, binomial expansion natin. So, parang ganito din siya. Okay? So, brain ko na. So, I hope nasundan natin yan. Okay, so number one, so 5.84%. Okay, next, number two. Okay, so next, number two, Wesley has to face Hikaru in a match of 12 games. After 12 games, the one with the most number of wins wins the match. Wesley has 58% chance of winning a game against Hikaru. What is the probability that Wesley wins the match? Yeah. So again, Again, obviously, this is binomial distribution because we have only two choices. So, that's two independent choices. So, chance of winning and chance of losing a game, okay? So number two, here, automatically, the probability of success of Wesley for each game is 0.58, 58%. The probability of losing or failure is 1 minus 0.58, so which is 0.42. So next, now, sabi dito, the most number, the one with the most number of wins, wins the match. So, kailan lang mananalo si Wesley, so Wesley sa isang match? Dapat, mas malaki, mas marami siyang number of wins kaysa kay Hikaru. So, example, if this is Wesley and this is Hikaru, so 12 games yan, tama. So, one example is that dapat meron siyang 7 wins, okay, against si Hikaru na may 5. Okay? So, 7 wins against 5. So, panalo dyan si Wesley. Another one, 8 wins against 4. Okay? 9 wins against 3. 10 wins against 2. 11 wins against 1. And then, 12 wins against 0. Okay? So, yung 6 against 6, hindi siya considered as win for Wesley kasi hindi naman siya lamang sa number of wins. Okay? Parehas lang sila. So, nagsistart yung panalo niya pag naka-7 games siya at least. So, yun na. So, na-reduce na natin yung problem. Kailangan daw at least 7 games for Wesley para manalo siya. Okay? So, at least 7 games. So, para natin i-calculate yung probability niyan. So, pwede natin isa-isahin yung cases natin. So, for example, ano yung probability na makakakuha siya ng 7 games out of 12? So, yun. So, madali na siya. So, kung na-discuss, kung nakuha niya yung concept ka din ng binomial yung sa problem 1, so, may kita natin, di ba? There are 12 games. So, combination. Now, 7 wins again for Wesley. Then, 
P, what is the probability of success? So, sabi dito, 7 wins. Di ba? So, 7 successes. So, yung P, raised to 7. Then, Q, raised to 12 minus 7. So, 12 games minus 7. So, 5. Or, simplify na natin. 5. Kuha po. Next, 8 wins. So, similar process. 12 games combination. 8 wins. So, P, success, raised to 8. Q, the losses, raised to 4. Then, for 9 wins, so 12, C, 9 wins, P, to the 9, Q, Q. Okay, 3 losses. For 10 wins, so we have 12, C, 10, P to the 10, Q squared. Okay, for 11 wins, so 12, C, 11, P to the 11, Q, one. Finally, for 12 wins, 12, C12, okay? So, P to the 12, Q0. Okay. So, makita natin, di ba? So, para siyang binomial theorem. So, 12, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 games tayo. Okay? Now, bakit may plus yan? Siyempre, since these are independent of each other, bakit independent? Because, hindi naman, imposible naman na maka 7 wins ka and then at the same time maka 8 wins ka hindi pwede yun so they only occur one at a time what at one at a time so big sabihin ang gagawin lang natin yung probabilities nila ipag-add natin lahat so pag pinag-add natin yung lahat yan so pasok natin sa calc cube okay so we have pasok natin sa calc cube hmm Okay, so from 7, 12, 12, C. Okay, so we'll get point. Kita pa ba? Siyempre, hindi na. So pag pinag-add natin yan, so you'll get point six one one one. Ayan. Okay? So, big sabihin, so meron daw, so para manalo si, so para manalo si Wesley sa buong match, so meron siyang 61%, 61.11% probability. So, 61.11% probability. Ayan. So, kuha po natin. Okay? So, nakuha niyo yung concept. Sige, bulayin ko na ulit. So, finally, ito na. Last problem na tayo for today. Now, there's another problem. So, may tinatawag tayo. So, another problem that involves binomial distribution. So, here's the problem. So, a coin is biased in that heads appear 70% of the time. What is the average number of heads that you can get in 3 process? Okay. Start tayo. So, what is the probability of success? So, we have 0.7. Tama? Probability of success, tinatanong dito, is sa heads. So, we let P as, of course, yung probability na makakuha tayo ng heads natin. So, the probability of getting heads, 0.7. So, uh, para hindi tayo malito sa notation, let's let it as H, 0.7. Tails, so, 1 minus 0.7. So, 0.3. 4 each for the tail. Okay? Now, let's tabulate now. So, isa-isa natin yung cases. So, if the number of heads na makukuha natin is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay? 0, 1, 2, 3. So, the probability of getting heads. Okay? So, for 0, alam natin yan. For 0, so that's, we have 3 tosses. Z, 0. Then, H, 0. Tails, Q. Tama? So, 0 heads, 3 tails. Kasi 0 heads. Okay? Now, for one head, so 3, C1, H, one head, two tails. Okay? 3, C2, for two heads, H, two heads, one tail. Okay? Then last, 3, C3, three, three heads, three heads, zero tails. Okay? Now, simplify natin yan. Uh, huh. 3 C3 
cx um, sorry x x times point three or is three minus x so pag zero so makuha natin dito is point zero twenty seven pag one so we we'll get point one eight nine pag two point four four one and pag three point three four three so yan yung probabilities niya per case ng head sentence natin so now now tinatanong dito is what is the average number of heads that you can get in three doses so average number of heads so basically ang tinatanong dyan sa problem na to is the expected value so tinatanong dyan is the expected value okay of the number of heads okay expected value so the expected value or the mean of the probability distribution is actually equal to di ba gagawin natin dito kung nagtable tayo dyan is actually to get the summation of the number of results times yung probability of each result natin okay so which means dito so first so meron tayong 0 heads times its probability to 7 we have 1 head then get its probability so 0.189 plus we have 2 heads then probability or 41 plus 3 heads then yung probability niya 0.343 yan so pag the times natin and then add them all together to get the average value so 1 times uh, 0 plus 1 times plus 2 times 0.441 3 times 0.343 so you'll get 2.1 yan 2.1 kuha po so we have the correct answer now which is 2.1 So it's a BN on the average Pag nag-toss ka ng 3 times You'll get 2.1 heads and 0.9 tails Okay Kuha po Kuha. Now there's a shortcut for this actually no? So break ko na I hope the tape note nyo siya I, But there's actually a shortcut for this Okay There's actually a shortcut so, bibigyan ko kayo ng ilang seconds, no? Para isipin kung ano ba ang shortcut dito. So, para natin makukuha in an instant yung average number of heads natin. Okay. So, 5 seconds. Okay. So, sa mga nakakuha ng... Yun, sa mga nakakuha ng formula para dito. So, congratulations. So, you are... Yun. So, a good binomial probability attacker. So, the formula, so there's a formula. So the formula for the mean, so the formula for the mean of the part of the of the binomial distribution is equal to n p. So n is the number of total cases, okay? X equals n p. So n is the total number of cases. Nakaya natin ha. So x equals n p. Yeah. So n is the total number of cases. And P, of course, is the probability of success. Yan. That's the formula. So, probability, formula for binomial mean. So, binomial mean. So, in this case, so the mean is we have three cases because we have three tosses. And then, the probability of getting heads, the success, is 0.7. Tama? So, 3 times 0.7, 2.1. So, shortcut method. Yan. So, if you, ayun, kung tinatanong, if nakakita kayo na agad ng binomial distribution na problem, then tinatanong is average numbers. So, automatically, you use NP for the formula na. Okay? So, yun. So, that's it for today. So, I hope may na-master nyo na yung pagiging binomial, pro, yun, yung pagkuha ng binomial probability. Okay? So, so that's it. So, good morning everyone and have a nice day, mga engineers.